Hello and welcome back everyone to anuboutrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are discussing SAP build process automation. So far, you have seen how to create a sales order approval workflow with the sales order API trigger. So far, we have created an approval form and a form. In today's session, you will see how to create a mail step for. If you like this free content, kindly share and subscribe the channel so that others can also take benefit from the same. So let's get in into the system. In case of rejection, they will simply get only a email. Yeah, only a email with the note to approver. Remember, note to approver that we will send. So we'll say email. Who should receive this email? It will be again I myself who started the workflow, the business process. Subject line. OMG, oh my God, your order was rejected. Check the details. And then we can actually build a mail body. Yeah. So what do they get in the email? Hey, sales representative, your order request for order number and I can take the data from the form input data order number was rejected by manager the then we can just put some note and whatever note was there yeah so remember this note for approval I can inject that yes regards yes SAP build process team <laughs> something more of a generic they will receive cool i configured the mail body and we are happy but now you can see it's still giving me red so you can always check why it's giving me red so just scroll up and down and maybe it's just a matter of save i think yeah it was just red because initially when we created there was no two so that's why but now we added and saved everything is ready so now my process is fully ready it's compliant and fully ready there are you can always go at the bottom this button to check the log if there are any errors warnings or info in the process which you built so that is very good troubleshooting tool at the bottom once we are happy just keep saving all your forms and everything make sure everything is saved properly and then you can deploy so before you deploy you have to release what the release does the release project will build it it will build it behind the scene it creates a package it creates a packet out of it before delivering so here you can give a version you can give a brief summary my first version of build sales order process i can release it and that is doing a build now it is packaging everything together as a project so you can see show project version it also does a version management of your process so at any point of time let's say if a process has a flaw and you go back want to go back to last version you can do that once you're done you are ready to deploy this process to the cloud you can see in the overview all the artifacts and you can also make a copy of any artifact from here or duplicate or delete yeah? then you see trigger right now it was not started yes we haven't triggered anything so of course we will be learning about triggers there are event based triggered and action based triggered a lot of things then you can see dependency if one process depends on another all of these things we will be learning and seeing it in the coming class so this comes to the end of our today's session where we created a sap build process and you can see we've released it this is the released version and you see this is the editable version so if i deploy and made a process and released it today it creates a separate version out of it so my version during development is different than the one which is running in production so we will learn the entire life cycle and everything so this is how we do version management also so it won't hamper suppose there's a new requirement in this process and you would want to incorporate that so you don't want the users who are using the process already getting affected by that that's why sap create a released version with the version number 
so the version which is running in production will be with this one and the version which you are currently under development which you are modifying based on change in requirement will be the editable version so that's a typical version management capability what you always get so you always build and and package your process so we will be learning extensively all the transport management and dev qp and all those stuff in the coming classes as well so that comes to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it how to create your first build business process with a real time requirement and in the next class tomorrow we will learn how to test it we will learn different techniques to test it in fact you can test it from a postman to as a developer as well we will learn all of that in coming episodes so once again thank you so much and i'll see you in the next episode tomorrow till then happy coding and goodbye